Desde San Miguel de Allende, en donde recibió la Cruz de Plata por parte del Festival Internacional de Cine de Guanajuato, Gus Van Sant habló de la relación de su cine con la literatura, de los actores que se han convertido en íconos de su obra y de que su objetivo no es criticar a Estados Unidos y el American Way of Life. I think I was always sort of impressed with the way like a novel can describe something so um, intimately and it takes a it takes cinema it takes a camera even though a, a picture is worth a thousand words there's something about um, a well-written piece that um, cinema has a harder time getting as close as um, the written word thought about that I don't I don't think that I've achieved anything particularly more successful at getting closer to that but I'm, I'm always sort of conscious of it but one of the things that's happened that does kind of approach literature that's very prevalent now is uh, cinema can be told over you know you know six seasons of, of an hour mm -hmm. each episode 10 hours each season so that's 60 hours you can one of the problems with literature is it could um, it was hard to capture in a two-hour format but now it's very common to be able to work in a long form it was a few different it was a couple of scripts and a short story so it was like the short story was um, it was in chapters and they were meant to be scenes mm -hmm. so it wasn't uh, it was printed in Zoetrope magazine actually that short story but yeah it was constructed out of three different pieces well he's really good at yeah. acting <laughs> so I think that's the start and then the rest is like whether they have time to do it um, but I think it's they're so talented that you want you want to add that to your uh, to your movie. Well, in the case of Joaquin, uh, when I wrote "Don't Worry," I had him in mind because we had talked about it, and uh, I think that was the only one that I was writing for the actor. Yes, for the me. other ones were, yeah, the other ones were um, open. They weren't cast. They haven't weren't casted yet. I don't know. I think that the critics and and or the audience members take things away from the films, things that relate to them. You know, things that they they're already thinking about. So maybe it kind of um, matches up with what they're what they're thinking. But I don't think that that's like an objective to criticize the actual country of America. It's not, um... Well, it's sort of the only place that I exist. You know, yeah. so if it was America, then I would say it was the world not America so much, it's just um, existence. Thing. Um, I think in a, in a uh, personal way, yes. In a political way, no. Usually. 